Hello everyone, my name is Yun Tao Zhen, and today my topic is adversarial examples in the physical world. Firstly, let's start the introduction of this paper. This part will include three mini parts. The first mini part is about spider work. Before this paper, there already exist two kinds of attacks, which are adversarial attack and physical attack. When it comes to adversarial attack, assuming that there is an sample C, which can be correctly classified by the machine learning system. And in this paper, this machine learning system is an inception model. It is possible to construct an adversarial example A, which is perceptually indistinguishable from C, which means we human cannot distinguish A from C, and this example A will be classified incorrectly. The second type of attack is a physical attack, which means that the attack is from the, the external physical world instead of the internal system. There are two examples. The first example is about an audio input, which will be recognized of intelligible voice, voice commands. And the second example is in the face recognition task. Some photo, some recognition system based on photos are vulnerable to play attacks. The second mini part is about related work. Although this paper first proposes the idea of physical adversarial attack, there still exists one similar work, which also prints images of adversarial examples on paper and demonstrated the same conclusion. However, there are three main differences between this paper and that related work. Firstly, this paper achieves a cheap closed form attack, while the related work uses a more expensive attack based on an optimization algorithm. And the second difference is no intervention, which means this paper makes no particular effort to modify adversarial examples to improve chance, chances of surviving the printing and photography process. And uh, they only do what they only they do did is only about scientific observation. The third difference is no restriction restriction in the number of pixels, which means the methods of this paper are free to modify all of the pixels in an image. The third mini part is about the main contribution of this paper. It first proposes physical adversarial attack, and it devises a new iterative method, which is called iterative least likely class method. The third contribution is that it demonstrates the transfer property of physical adversarial examples, though the experiment is not sufficient and detailed. The fourth contribution is that it, it investigates on the influence of artificial image transformation. Now let's start the second part. It's about methods of generating adversarial images. Before we begin this part, we need to introduce some notations. The first one is X, which means an image. It's a, a 3D tensor with integer values in the range from 0 to 255. The second one is Y2, which means the true class for the image X. JXY means the cost entropy cost of cost, and it's a negative log possibility of the true label of the input image. Clip X means that we need to make sure the results of input image will be in the L infinity epsilon neighborhood of the source image X. After talking about notations, now let's talk about three methods given by this paper. The first one is fast method, which we have already learned from the trustworthy lecture. It's basically motivated by linearizing the cost function and solving for the perturbation that maximizes the cost subject to an L infinity constraint. And the second method is basic iterative method which is only an iterative implementation of fast method. However, 
we need to clip pixel values of intermediate results after each step to ensure that they are in the neighborhood of the original image. The third method is a new method introduced, proposed by this paper. It's a target method, and the target is the least likely class in the original classification process. And what we did, what we do is to make iterative steps in the direction of this sign gradient and try to make classifier to make output a, this least likely class. In the end of this part, I'd like to compare all these three methods. Firstly, let's talk about fast methods. It will stay on approximately the same level until epsilon equals 32, and then slowly it decreases to almost zero, as epsilon grows to 128. This could be explained by the fact that the first method adds noise to each image, thus higher value of epsilon essentially destroys the content of the image and makes it unrecognizable even by humans. The second finding is that the basic iterative method is able to produce better adversarial images when epsilon is less than 48. However, as we increase epsilon, it is unstable to improve. And third thing is that the least likely class method destroys the correct classification of most images, even when epsilon is relatively small. So to some extent, we can say that the least likely class method is the best method to construct adversarial examples when the input is from the, the internal system. Here is the third part of this paper, photos of adversarial examples. Before we talk about how to construct physical adversarial examples, let's first introduce the destruction rate of adversarial images. It's basically a fraction of adversarial images, which could be misclassified as an internal input and are no longer misclassified after the transformation. Okay, now let's talk about experimental setup. This setup is basically a pipeline which includes three parts. The first part is about printing, which means the author prints the images of the adversarial examples with four QR codes in the four corners and these QR codes are designed to help automatic cropping. The second process is photography. The author used a cell phone camera to take photos of these images. And the third process is an automatic cropping. The experimental results of this paper are shown in several figures. I'd like to show some findings from these figures. Firstly, let's talk about the robustness to tra photo transformation of these three methods. From the figure, we can see that it only the accuracy of fast method only increase, increases 0.1% after we transform it to photos. However, when it comes to iterative method, it increases a lot. This means that fast adversarial images are more robust to photo transformation compared to iterative methods. This could be explained by the fact that iterative methods exploit more subtle kind of perturbations, and these subtle perturbations are more likely to be destroyed by photo transformation. The second finding is that in some cases, the adversarial destruction rate in the pre-filtered cases was higher compared to average case. Here, I'd like to explain what is the average case and pre-filtered case. The average case means that we will randomly pick several pick images from the dataset. And the pre-filtered case means that we only pick images that could be misclassified by the classifier. And in the case of iterative method, even the total success rate was lower for pre-filtered images rather than random selected images. This suggests that to obtain very high confidence, iterative methods often make subtle adaptations 
that are not able to survive photo transformation. The third finding is that physical adversarial attack is effective. As we can see from the figure, that's about two thirds of the images would be top one misclassified, and about one third of the images would be top five misclassified. Thus, by generating enough adversarial images, the adversary could expect to cause far more misclassification than would occur on natural input. And this shows that it's effective to use physical adversary attack. Here comes the supplemental part of this paper. It demonstrates the possible transfer property of physical adversarial examples. The author conducted an experiment by using his mobile phone app to classify physical adversarial images on device. And it shows that these adversarial images can still cause misclassification. However, these, this experiment is not sufficient or detailed because it lacks of, of data and uh, possible figures. Now let's go to the final experiment of this paper. It's about artificial image transformations. Since the transformations apply to images by the process of printing, photographing, and cropping, could be considered as some combination of much simpler image transformations. And here the authors apply transformations strictly to the adversarial examples. The, these transformations include change of contrast and brightness, Gaussian blur, Gaussian noise, and JPEG encoding. And there are three findings here. The first finding is that adversarial examples generated by the fast method are the most robust to transformations. And the second one is that the top five destruction rate is typically higher than top one destruction rate. This is a, a quite obvious finding because in order to destroy top one adversarial examples, we have to push the correct label <coughs> to be top one, top one prediction, which is a strictly stronger requirement than pushing <coughs> the correct label to, the top, to be top five prediction. And the third finding is that blurred noise and JPEG encoding generally have a higher destruction rate than changes of brightness and contrast. Finally, let's come to the conclusion and possible future work. This paper shows that a significant fraction of adversarial images crafted using the original network are misclassified even when fed to the classifier through the camera. And this finding demonstrates the possibility of adversarial examples for machine learning systems in the physical world. And here are four possible future work. The first one is other kinds of physical objects besides images printed on paper. And the second one is attacks against different kinds of machine learning systems. Since this work, this paper is basically on the basis of inception model. Maybe we can try different kinds of basic models in the future. And third one is attacks performed without access to the model parameters and architecture. Or in other words, the, maybe we can try to prove the transfer property of physical adversarial examples. And the fourth one is physical attacks that achieve higher success rate by explicit, explicitly modeling the physical transformation during the adversarial example construction process. And this is all of my representation. Thank you for listening.